Let's check this out. Make sure we're coming in live. And there we are. Nice, nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today, today is October 24th, 2022. Monday afternoon, 1 30 p.m. And we're doing comic book reading. And we're going to read excerpts of some of the comic books that I've been reading for the last few months. Uh, there's a lot more I've been reading. Uh, I got stacks, stacks, stacks like this. Um, but these are some of the ones that I've sort of, when I'm going through, when I remember, uh, sometimes I forget to put a little a little marker there where I say, oh, this is, this is interesting. This would be fun to read. Um, but these are the ones that I've sort of highlighted um, for us to go through. And this is what I'm doing. I'm sort of reading some comic books and I've got stacks going. And when I can, I put a little sticky tape in there, whatnot. And uh, when, uh, when it comes to time to do a reading, I sort of pull out the ones that I've highlighted that uh, I thought would be a good idea to read excerpts of. Okay. Now, while we wait for notifications to go out for people, it's windy here, gang. So hopefully we won't lose the internet, uh, but it's fall season, right? We're gonna get into the rainy season and the windy season, it's a great time to do readings. Uh, but sometimes uh, we do lose the power and whatnot. Hopefully we won't, okay. Uh, and hopefully it won't be too noisy, uh, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I love doing these readings and I think it's important um, for us to continue to do these readings in addition to doing current events, economics, and whatnot. But we already know what the games play. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, focus a little bit more on the joys of life instead of trying to uh, um, make sure we understand the, the game at play and uh, what's going on geopolitically, economically, and whatnot. Uh, because this is, uh, you know, uh, as the saying goes, you only get one shot at this. Might as well throw in a, a lot of fun. Okay. Aside from that, uh, if you want to what this work is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. We do have a subscribe star page and a sub stack page. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on sub stack, and on Twitch, gang, thank you very much. For the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and if you guys want to participate oh there we go if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where we want to be at okay um felix howdy chicho how's life i'm currently working on a uh, walter white uh costume for how <laughs> that's breaking bad for halloween i'm um, hosting on saturday nice nice are you gonna have a big plate of blue <laughs> on the counter for people uh for people to partake i hope not and i hope it's just jelly beans or something uh felix and as always making music making music awesome awesome crack how are you doing afternoon all at work but listening in the background awesome awesome crack we got some fun reads man we got some fun reads you'll enjoy it uh, lots of a uh, couple of mainstream but lots of uh indie lots of indie okay uh svenson sven i gotta pronounce this right sven stevenson how are you doing hope you're doing well indeed indeed having a good time birdie here welcome welcome to another live stream elder god welcome welcome i'm doing so <laughs> you're doing sauron <laughs> elder god's dressing up as sauron are you doing sauron from the uh the t the t uh the Lord of the Rings TV show, the that I actually I'm actually enjoying that. I enjoyed it, uh, even though season season's over. Uh, Felix Chicho, I I actually am. Ha ha! Awesome. I'm making alcoholic blue meth candy. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, crack. I'm looking forward to it, Chicho. Indie all the way. Indie all the way. Crack. That's one thing me and Crack definitely agree on. A lot of comic book aficionados, gang. There's stuff you can get in indie comic books uh, that's authentic, that's real, that's brilliant. Uh, no minimal censors. Uh, just whatever the artists want to share, they share, and it's brilliant, really. If you've only read the big two, Marvel and DC, 
expand 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 your horizons expand your horizons okay Joe Chicho hey Chicho did you get a chance to watch no I haven't watched hot fuzz yet I've been I got stuff I I have it listed to sample it uh, but we just watched uh, we just finished Lord of Rings um, we I'm watching the stuff that I'm watching uh, we just finished Lord of Rings uh, watching Andor enjoying Andor actually uh, surprisingly um, watching alien resident alien that's fun uh, fun show uh, but hot fuzz I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to for sure for sure uh, I love the the guy who did uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead right so uh, I'll definitely be watching it Felix to all the God I'm ashamed to admit but I haven't seen you haven't seen the rings <laughs> you gotta watch it Cheryl how are you doing happy Monday to you as well awesome awesome Halbrand Halbrand oh my god rings of power was terrible I will pass on beta Sora <laughs> hilarious hilarious I actually enjoyed it I liked it I liked it esoteric how are you doing he's saying he's a green esoteric is a green rings of power is terrible <laughs> Hilarious. one of the only art forms where you can get ideas passed from one human being directly to another with no other hands in the mix if you choose to go that way indeed and that is indie comics really gang it's once you once you start getting into comic books appreciating comic books realizing that there's a lot there that you did not expect to be there you will be hooked you will be hooked and there's no going back once you read some of some of the greatest uh, greatest stories ever told and they're not necessarily in the big two uh, and the ideas shared you will never look at uh, the world and comic books the same way again cheryl it was a slow start but i loved uh rings and cheryl i'm with you <laughs> i loved it i really liked it seriously it was fun sure it has its problems one of the issues i read with people uh they were saying oh elves should not have short hair i'm like get over it okay <laughs> like that is the complaint that people have elves were being portrayed with short hair i'm like dude uh there were other ones as well but i loved it i'm with cheryl i was cheryl <laughs> elder god quote i've been awake since the breaking of the first uh, uh silence end quote uh that's uh spoiler warning the uh, felix chicho uh, you ever had a pair of dr Mo doc martens yeah yeah for sure i've been trying to break them in and my feet look like i've been in the grinder <laughs> wear heavy socks wear heavy socks and it takes a while for them to break in and it depends on the fit man doc martens have to be loose uh, i haven't had one for a long time really um but doc martens are loose and they're not made for walking for miles upon miles upon miles right they're made for partying <laughs> to a certain degree <laughs> broken blister uh, blisters can help unbroken blisters can help um spent house of dragon on the contrary is a massive thing i we got that queued up to watch as well uh the house of dragon elder says it was not token it, it it okay it was uh it was a prequel where it sort of told the story of the rings of power how they may have come to be okay i appreciated it i appreciated it deep flake how are you doing gang let's finish off our intro we do an lc live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on minds bk gap getter gap parlor and bitcloud uh you can follow the work there for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do have visuals today we got comic books we do upload the audio soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes google play and something else and something else 
Uh, we will be uploading this full last stream to whoop, beep, beep, where are we? Sensor tube to pitch to rumble and to Odyssey. However, everything that we do is not being loaded on sensor tube. So if you want to if you want to follow everything that we do, or at least have the opportunity to to watch or listen to everything that we do, you want to be on Bitchu Rumble and Odyssey. Sensor tube is is a censored platforms uh very unfortunate but it is what it is and we do have a gilded page you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded where uh, you can participate in our community share information uh, find new sources of information challenge us question us uh, share your ideas uh, uncensored forum where you can just be who you want to be right Gang, aside from that, let me take these guys down. Ba -doing, ba -doing, and decide what we're gonna read. Doing, doing, doing. Uh, Cheryl, oh, sorry, Felix, you're in that rough. Officially into the the they're breaking me in phase. Yeah, maybe uh, taking some time off to let your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheryl's right. Take some time off and let your uh, feet uh, heal a little bit. But don't let the leather, don't let the Doc Martin sit there for too long without wearing them uh heavy socks is okay uh make sure the doc martens aren't tight really doc martens should not be tight should not be tight uh from what i remember anyway mine weren't uh you should just slip in slip out uh, and that's the way i wore uh, my martens um, and they're good shoes they're really good shoes or they used to be anyway gang let's talk comics okay we got we got a whole bunch of stuff to read Okay, Eldegoth, Sauron escaped to Mordor after Morgoth was defeated much earlier than the ring's creation. Rant over. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, my, okay, spoiler warning, gang. If you haven't watched Rings of Power, do not listen to this la next few seconds of what I'm about to say. Okay. My take was this. Sauron required the knowledge of of the elven blacksmith to be able to create the nine rings of power that he did right so um sure he directed uh the 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 elven blacksmith no <laughs> the guy's in there no i liked it it was a great storytelling it was fun uh, uh, sure but maybe he came out to seek out that information right maybe he came out to be able to find out exactly where mithriel was right maybe he didn't know where mithriel was soren was a master of craftsmen uh, of the valor uh, but me okay so let okay let's assume he was a master craftsman what if what if he required uh the information to find out where he could find mithriel right where he could find in which of the dwarven kingdoms uh, the metal uh was hidden right possible 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 and no matter how good you are whatever math however master whatever whatever talent you've mastered you could always learn from another master right that's that's also the case that's also the case right possible possible right possible and maybe he just wanted to fuck around and mess around with the elves <laughs> my my biggest issue with that was my biggest wish, issue with that was the elven uh elders would have detected sauron's energy that's that's my my take the the main issue i had with that was when sauron went to um the elven kingdom whatever it was not ribbon um i forget wherever anyway i'm bad with the names uh me the the elven elders should have detected his darkness okay elder god that's possible the doors were created in a secret way from morgoth and were impervious to the ring's power 
Yeah, uh, but the the dwarves also had rings of power. Seven of them, I think, or something. I forget. Uh, Cheryl, which Har Harfoot was your favorite? Aldergod, uh, to Aldergod, he says. And gang, do not forget, before we get into the readings, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Gang, we're 15 minutes in. Let's do some comic book readings. We got some choices here. Okay. We have this thing in the comic go die by um mark peacely it's sort of like comic strips like shorts okay i highlighted a few okay it's pretty pretty fun read we could start with this okay we could start with this let me give you some choices at the beginning okay we have a comic book okay uh nathaniel dusk private investigator it's like a pi comic book and it's by Don McGregor and Gene Colon. And Gene Colon is huge, huge, and Don McGregor is huge as well. Okay. He Don McGregor is actually credited, uh, British writer. He's credited by uh, Baseman, how are you doing? Good to see you, good to see you as well, Baseman. He's credited by being one of the first graphic novel uh, creators in the comic book medium with Saber, the graphic novel that came out, right? In 1970. 1982 81 late 1970s early 1980s okay elder god they got seven but were not uh, corrupted by the weak men and even the elves had to remove them cool 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 uh that's regarding the doors by the way and gene colon huge uh lots for marvel lots of everything uh, since the golden age of comics really or yeah golden age of comics okay so we got a detective story um it's sort of a chase gun sh gun chase scene that we got here we have uh just a uh, image comics okay uh zero it's very trippy same writer different artist for all the issues i think it was like 17 issue run or something like this um i just have one fight scene here that i thought was cool and I've, this is the only three that i've read and by the way gang all of these comics 25 cents i picked all of these comics up last year when a comic book store was doing a 25 cent sale on comic books and i went and picked up like three short box three long boxes of comics and just and i'm going through those and it's phenomenal like 25 cents a comic 25 cents a comic and i've been just gorging on them <laughs> right and it's over a year now that i've been gorging on them right Baseman love rings of power dwarves had rings but they weren't under sauron's influence just the interest of their own greed which attracted the dragons haha <laughs> okay cool cool crack 1978 is the date of saber according to my um okay cool 1978 then okay the saber graphic novel is that the saber series it was um eclipse comics i believe it was eclipse comic it was eclipse uh, i believe it was eclipse um the series came out in 1978 i don't know when the graphic novel came out though right baseman despite the deviation from tokens text it was not not all bad i agree it wasn't all bad <laughs> baseman <laughs> all the gossips of all the token purists yes eclipse comics so we have zero here it's it's interesting it's a nice fight scene very little no text actually no text Nicholas, how are you doing? Hey, chat. Awesome. Comic stream. Comic stream. Graphic novel is dated. Oh, the graphic novel is dated 1978. Series was after that. Oh, what? Crack. The graphic novel came out before the series? I didn't know that. Oh, man. That's cool. That's cool. I've been, again, I picked up a whole bunch of saga. I've read some saga before, but I picked up a whole bunch of uh, saga issues for again, 25 cents and i just read them and i have like three highlighted here that we can read so you guys decide which ones which one you want to read first okay here's now comics and now comics gang now comics from 19 1980s that's the one i know uh, most about and they're awesome awesome so so many cool comics very some of them very rough very rough okay but the only thing i want to read from this is a little note from uh the art director regarding censorship okay so it's pretty cool 
it's, it's I I tend to read a lot of these the notes in front of comics and the back of comics and stuff like this when I have the time and it was really cool coming across this okay and this is uh, siphons is sort of a x-men superhero um, uh, sort of a group uh, pretty rough artwork but super fun yaba yaba ba, yo yaga yaba ba, yaga good to see you again uh, did I miss the uh, but oh you missed the butt harvest we did it last week last weekend i've been out a while with an injury oh no yaga yeah we did the uh we took the cannabis down last week uh, i'll have it up this week uh, next few days i'll have the, i'll have it up on uh sensor to bitch you rumble and odyssey okay here is a uh, comic british writer okay um from 2000 ad uh really um, writers in this or the creators in this uh, the stainless steel rat number one but we're not gonna read the stainless steel rat number one there's a backup story here which I thought was super fun and it's called super bean okay and it's, it's a fun little read a little off okay there is this series that came out last year a couple of years ago um, barrier okay and it was pretty cool now I read I picked this up I I think I picked up number one and number two in when I was pulling the comics but I didn't get a chance to read them so I picked these up for a dollar I missed it was only five issue run I don't have number two here right so I didn't read number two but that's okay I highlighted a section basically we're gonna flip through all of number three it's a silent issue beautiful artwork beautiful artwork okay beautiful artwork uh, really cool artwork okay uh, beautiful colors so these are the ones I have these ones uh, we'll put aside if we get a if we go through all of these we got these ones from Dark Horse Comics uh, Crucial uh, Fiction and uh, what do you call it uh, Megaton Man I don't think we'll read the Megaton Man it's sort of a, um, uh, what did, yeah anyway I don't think we'll read, <laughs> read it okay so I'm gonna put these ones aside which one do you guys want to read first which one do you guys want to go through first really up to you guys we could start off with the comic strips just funny stuff we could do a longer detective one we could look at something a fight scene no words we could read uh, like three excerpts from saga we could read a little write-up regarding censorship um, super bean funny uh, little side story and again another sort of silent issue beautiful artwork you guys decide which one do you want to read the uh, uh, what do you call it um, whoever comes up first uh, if you want to read it and if we get a second we do okay I'll hold off but give us a little bit more time for people to pop in uh, the shortest read would be the saga ones the most dystopian one the most deeply the most dystopian one would be censorship let's read the little text no where's the censorship the censorship is here should we read the censorship first did i pick a dystopian you know what i i these are well there's fight scenes and violent but there isn't too much dystopia in this one okay in these sets let's read a little note regarding censorship okay let's bring this out here and this is uh siphon who did the who did these actually uh, 990 during the bubonic plague of 1347 kings of sadism took full opportunity to slaughter already weakened groups of undesired people across all of europe see what men of the sword do and are capable of hiding deep within themselves their ideologies and rulers via massacre what's this what's this from this is what's the description of this from i is it from one of these i don't think it's from one of these uh in comics 990. now this is now comic symphony and uh story and art is alan check this out Whoop. alan curtis inks by r davis b thomas okay now i don't know if um, the inker was the same for all of these and you can tell the the covers 
I don't know why the covers ended up being so brutal for these. The artwork is, um, it, it's, it has its problems, but it's not bad. I like the storytelling in this, really. It was a fun comic, right? <laughs> You're studying European history right now, hilarious. Brutal, European history is brutal. But let's read this, gang. This is uh, sort of a little write-up and did he have a write-up in all of these yeah there's a little write-up in all of these but this one st stood out to me right and it's regarding censorship okay so this is um siphons number six okay let's see if we'll focus siphons number six and it came out in 1987 okay Came out in 19 say, every 87. Published every other month by Now Comics. So bi monthly, right? Okay. First time chat. How are you doing, Max Wild? How are you? You've been here before. Why is this first time chat? It says, hey, Chicho and chat. Finally have time to catch a live stream. I deactivated my Twitch for a while, but glad to be back. Glad to have you back, Max. Glad to have you back. So here's a little write up. Okay. Check this out. Now, this is remember this is from 1987 right 1987 and this is what centralized power has tried to do forever right which is censorship controlling information tracking you right Whoop. okay so somebody's watching you and you don't even care right let's read this little write-up now that i've got your attention they don't realize that what they're doing is wrong. They truly believe that they're fighting a religious holy war. More's the pity. So they get together and form vicious local little cliques like the Con Concerned Parents Monitoring Comics, who in their great unenlightened state of mind have decreed that today's comic strips are not the uh, bastion of safe family humor, end quote, that they once were to which i respond quote when show me the great strips the strips that are remembered were not safe the yellow kid safe crazy cat safe family humor pogo little abner bc safe they tell us the amazing spider-man is quote blatant violence running rampant end quote unlike unlike one assumes the quote safe family strips end quote of days gone by like Popeye or Dick Tracy they tell us Hagar the horrible quote promotes poor manners end quote and quote presents bad role models for young men and women end quote they tell us Dennis the menace is quote an obvious attempt to subvert authority figures end quote not all strips are bad of course their list of positive strips include marvin garfield and the muppets but my my oh my let's look at these approved strips marvin teaches children how to manipulate their parents garfield promotes uh slov slovenliness slov slovenness apathy rudeness and over uh reacting all together in a whiny voice quote but he's a cute kitty cat end quote and the muppet shows interspecies intercourse as gasp harmless now i realize that in this particular form i'm preaching to the already converted but the time has come to get to get up off your couches and fight back against these ar arbiters of decency what will it take to wake you all up it's it's them or us and you can't stick your bul, bul, bulbous heads in the sand and see say they won't notice us or that they'll eventually go away or that if we give give in and put ratings on our craft they'll leave us alone these people are organized they're small but they're vocal and they're organized while the comics community can't get together enough 
to agree that there is a threat this is your art your business your lives that these people are mocking mocking about with okay signet ash art director now comics i thought that was important to read okay i thought that was important to point out that those organizations those individuals that have been trying to censor humanity are not people that are just appearing now right even now they have so much power censoring information online in schools in public places in media right they have been trying to do this forever and it didn't begin in 1987 or 80 when was this 1987 okay it didn't begin with the golden age of comics during the golden age of comics with the seduction of an ins of the innocent this is centralized power trying to control humanity okay gang uh, and as this art director states as this art director states doop, 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 where is it these people are organized they're small but they're vocal and they're organized while the comics community can't get together enough to agree that there's a threat this is your art your business your lives these people are mucking about with okay. don't give these people an inch don't give the censors an inch gang okay don't give the censors an inch that's enough preaching for me okay Ch -ch -ch. Um, Mr. Hizakaya just popped in and said, um, Chicho, do uh, the crab apples need to be soft for them to uh, make them into jam? No, no. Actually, the harder, the better. Not, not better, but uh, you don't want them to be too ripe. Making too ripe fruit into jam is very difficult, or uh, crab apple butter. Okay. Have I been reading any manga? No, not lately. Not lately. Okay. Now, check this out, gang. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read some saga. Okay. Let's have a read through a little bit of saga. Just short excerpts. Okay. Short excerpts. Now, if you haven't read saga, read saga. I haven't read the whole thing. Okay. It's. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn, okay, and Fiona Staples. And this is one of the quintessential uh, comic book uh, series runs that has come out in the last, uh, when did it first come out? In the last 15 years or so. It came out in the mid 2000s, I believe. Uh, da -da -da. Hold on, this is uh, tw 2000. And... So this is saga number, da -da -da -da. chapter number 20. Uh, 20 right so issue number 20 and it's dated as uh 2014 right so if they put out 12 oh, if they put out 12 per year let's say 11 per year you can go back uh one and a half years so saga began in uh mid uh <laughs> maybe i shouldn't show me that one <laughs> mid uh, mid uh, um uh, what do you call it um mid uh, i lost my train of thought uh early 2000s right early 2000 and uh, there we go to 2012 thank you very much cry was the first issue of second 2012 right early 2010 so 2012 now let me good I, i'm gonna skip that page so we're gonna read two pages <laughs> two pages from brian uh brian k uh, k vaughn and Fiona Staples saga number 20 and we're gonna, I'll get a couple of more uh, segments we're gonna read this is just two pages we're gonna read uh, from here I'm here for you but thank you very much crack okay now saga is more mature read okay you don't want eight-year-olds to read this unless they're mature okay nine-year-olds to unless ten-year-olds to read this unless they're mature okay so and this is okay uh, to show because you know there's no nudity and stuff in it but it it can be a little bit on the harsher side okay 
so uh, and these people uh, the the stage is set this is the this is sort of a whorehouse okay and a royalty has is in has is visiting uh it, it is, this is a space opera by the way if you don't know anything about uh, saga it's a space opera and one of the members of the royals i guess is visiting a whorehouse right and there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of side stories and whatnot but we'll read this little segment because i, I thought it was hilarious i know you are watching me and that's the prince talking to the management and i want more right and the prince has got he's participating in what the establishment offers okay oh wait a second i'm going to take my video down i'm going to take my thing down i'm going to take the chat down as well gang apologies for keeping this up uh, ba -bum, ba -da 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 -bum. let's take the chat down is bone a pretty adult no bone is a bone is a uh, is good for kids uh why do i remember it being in my elementary group no no bone is is all ages it's good to read okay bone is is fine so let me take these down and let me take down my my camera as well i'll come back up after we finish all these readings okay so check this out so the prince is participating in what the place has to offer and this is the madam that's uh in charge of the place okay you heard the man send down another three sales associates okay. add it to his tab the madam says uh, ma'am ma'am son how much longer are we going to let him stay the blue blood is clearly unwell right and what's going on this prince there's sort of uh, the centralized power or the power uh, they're looking for him okay it's sextillion kid everyone here is sick in the head right yeah but they're not all missing persons he says shouldn't we tell someone in the robot kingdom we know where prince four is you know the rules our customers privacy is sank 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 at least until their credit runs dry and he's showing the uh, the newspaper right it's a boy but where's dad right and he's he's a new father as well but the prince has a newborn the helper says right and then the madam replies no shit that's probably why he's here okay. nothing drives a man to new pussy faster than seeing a kid come out of the old one I just thought that was a fantastic fantastic punchline i don't agree with it i don't agree with it however however i thought that little segment um was okay to share okay to share and you can tell uh that like i said this is a mature series this is a mature <laughs> controller design is like laugh out loud true <laughs> I like saying I love this idea of Ismar. Never seen something like this. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Alexa. Uh we're enjoying things. We're enjoying things. Here's another uh segment uh from which what's this one about? Uh oh this is about reading. This is great. This is great. I'm stealing that as <laughs> my Facebook status. <laughs> elder god says so this is from again fiona staples and brian k vaughn right this is uh 34 issue number 34 okay 
And this is about reading. This is this was brilliant as well. This was really brilliant. I really like this. And the story here is this girl is one of the main characters. Okay, she's sort of uh, the narrator of the story to a certain degree. And this is her teacher. And she has revealed something um, about herself to the teacher. And the teacher ended up fainting and uh, hitting her head. And then she got uh, admitted to the hospital. And the teacher's really good. And she's keeping her secret. Okay. And she's visiting her in the hospital uh, to share something with her. Okay. And she's a great teacher. She's a great teacher, right? She's a great teacher. You're sweet to worry, but my mother-in-law is watching the boys. The warden wants to keep me here overnight for observations, mostly to make sure I don't sue, I'm sure. Well, I'm real sorry I made you fall down, so I brought you a present, she says. It's my it's my parents' favorite. D. Oswald Heist, a nighttime smoke. That's a saucy cover, saucy cover, right? Granny loves it too, so she got a bunch for our library. She says, but that one's from a book swap. So she said I could give it to you since it's got too many grown up parts for me anyway. This is very kind, Hazel. I haven't read any heist since high school, the teacher says. The man who wrote it is pretty much how my mom and dad decided to make me. Oh, let's see if he'll focus. Come on. Do you think he's the best writer ever too? Hazel asks. The teachers reply. He's very clever, but I don't think artists should be ranked like racehorses. And no offense to the rest of your family, the teacher says. But anyone who thinks one book has all the answers hasn't read enough books. And then Hazel, Hazel narrates, right? Of the many things my first teacher taught me, that's the one that stuck. Brilliant absolutely brilliant okay these are the and this is one of the reasons saga has become a very respected series in the comic book uh, medium right because it has like little short little segments that are profound right and that's a signature brian k vaughn that's signature brian k vaughn and fiona staples doing the artwork is uh, magic right but brilliant but brilliant okay i thought that was super cool crazy bro athens welcome to our live stream lots of love lots of love cheryl cheryl just what every teacher wants to receive from a student ha the trauma the trauma here's another this is a longer little segment okay this is uh saga issue number 43 and this little segment is about abortion. Okay. Uh, considering our current predicament in the world, I thought this was uh, important to share as well. Okay. Welcome to Abortion Town. What the F? What the F? Da, 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 da. Let's check it out. How these strangers? What? Looks like he's the sheriff in town. 
of abortion town. Welcome to abortion town. A very pleasant morning to you, Dr. Sheriff. My name is Earl Robot. Uh, Li. I don't know what the the symbol, the Roman numeral for that is. Wait, come on, focus. Li, and I have, uh, and I was hoping you good people would be able to assist one of my young soldiers with her situation. And check this out. She's like crazy pregnant, right? And she's one of the main characters. Uh, she's Hazel's mom. Okay, the little girl that we saw, her mom. well i'll be you don't get much royalty this far out west but of course we're here to help all women in their time of need thank you hazel says well, not hazel hazel's mom says <laughs> right sorry sir gonna have to ask you to stay outside city limits abortion town is only for ladies and their immediate family man this gentleman is family He's the father of my child, she says. But I didn't think this kind of kind and and wings could, you know, the sheriff says. doesn't like it there we go we were under the same belief but let me assure you that uh, procreation between our races in us is unquestionably possible still our un unplanned offspring will likely suffer horrific mutations so for the good of both our worlds we need to f we need the fetus terminated and its remains discreetly disposed of Uh, how far along are you, darling? Uh, about eight months, she replies. Your third trimester? I'm power powerful, sorry, but there ain't a thing we can do for you. I beg your fucking pardon? He says. Simmer down, Earl, she says. Wish it weren't the case, but we're under landfall jurisdiction. You don't like their rules for a woman's body? You can take it up with the wings, elected officials, most of whom ain't women, mind you, she says. This isn't about your... Uh, utterly banal political sentiments this is about our lives he says please we came as soon as we could but we were very far away from the only planet that offers this procedure isn't there anything you can do the sheriff thinks on the other side of this rock there's a place called the badlands hell of a dangerous trip but the doctors out there out that way are willing to do just about anything no questions asked but you all didn't hear that from me she walks away right. we'll read the next page as well never fear never fear alana no matter how long it takes we will journey to these badlands and finish what we aren't going doing shit sir robot the only reason i let you tag along is so we could 
tried the stupid ruse of yours and now that it's predictably gone tits up you and I are finished but where am I supposed to go he says I don't give a good god damn all I know is I never want to see you your face again and then this is hazel uh, narrating the girl again right my name's hazel and this is my mother but that's not me in there and this is a diff definitely not my father it's like a long story but i can uh, i can get you up to speed okay and then it sort of continues and stuff like this sort of narration gives you a little intro or whatnot pretty cool so it's uh, it was interesting that even in a space opera and this is this came out 43 came out what year did it come out it was before this whole roll versus weight thing exploded in the United States let's see it came out in 2017 okay saga number 43 May 2017 okay. just because uh, you know the roll versus weight thing was happening in the United States I thought that was uh, worth sharing okay should we hit up some comedy some little funny little sketches or should we look at a, a silent comic let's look at a silent comic let's look at a silent comic and then we'll read some excerpts okay this one actually let's do you know what let's do the fight scene because the fight scene is super cool the fight scene is super cool okay this is from zero okay from image comics I've only read three issues of zero okay I picked these up for 25 cents a pop right <laughs> and it, I don't know too much about the series it's trippy it's extremely trippy the writer for this series is oop, this guy let's check it out Alice not caught Alice caught Ailes caught Ailes Scott okay really I don't know too much about the series the three issues these three issues that I read uh, were sort of disjointed okay they were they were trippy I love and art, all the artists for all issues are different and I believe there's like 17 issues or 16 issues I love this cover mushroom cover right super cool okay the artwork inside is like wow again it's different artists for each issue so it's i believe for each issue so it's pretty trippy okay here's another one but i, I don't think we're going to read this one uh, okay. but let's look at the this one and it's sort of a fight scene I think it was well done okay and uh, this one is about this guy and I think the story is mainly about this guy okay uh, <laughs> the, the what do you call it check this out Edward zero was a secret agent he quit the agency this is the story of his life okay and this character just appears at the beginning of it uh, Sarah there we go Sarah cook runs the agency right and the artist for this is Alberto Pontesili okay and again Ailes Cott is uh, the writer Alberto Pontesili is the artist Jordi Belair is the colorist and I believe Clayton Cowles is the letterer for this okay. and again it's sort of a silent issue except for this beginning uh, little dialogue uh, 
oh yeah what issue number is this this is issue number 13 okay issue number 13 and it came out in in oh where's the fine print on this okay we don't know when it came out it came out recently oh, oh here we go issue number 13 2014 okay so it's a recent uh no i guess it's not that recent anymore eight years ago right eight years ago There should be a gun in the drawer, she says. I'll go burn the documents. You go save the children. Right. This guy's a badass. got his gun presses the button for the elevator elevator door is opening up Looks like there might be someone in there. Shit, the soldier says. They pull up their guns, try to shoot him. Knocks it to one side. them in the leg lots of glare Bow. I guess it's out of bullets
pushes the gun down. Gun goes off. show you guys the cover of the, the book so elevator is going down they're just going at it just beating the crap out of each other right lots of blood for the sub 39 months straight boop look at that he's <laughs> choking him eyes on this new guy while well, the guy with the helmet right pointing gun towards him Boom! there goes his face or should I say his whole head shotgun will do that at blank range right Boom. done and the guy blops I think the fight's out of this guy. And they both look at it. Who's first to react? The hero elbows him in the face. this brutality awesome look at this just carnage just carnage let's look at these panels let's look at these panels make sure we're focused it's beautiful from him 
puts it across. And again. Here's the kicker. The guy's loving it. Loving the fight. Right. This guy. Ah, oh, fuck you, he says. Goes in. And the guy dodges. Look at this. Let's see. There you go. He totally dodges it. Grabs the wrist. Oh, when someone grabs your wrist like that, it's not a good thing. That's not going to end well for that wrist. And twist and break. Right? There goes the bone. Keep on twisting. Hit the pressure with the thumb. Right? Create a hinge. Crack. Ah, the guy says, ah, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, and takes out the elbow right there. All right? And let's get this focus going. All right? Hey, let's get this focus. Rock. Oh. Look at them both standing there. Looking at each other. What is this guy saying? What does this guy say? Fuck. Fuck you. Nothing. Nothing stops us. Brought it upon yourselves. Fuck you, he says. Fuck you, he says. And he comes in. Fuck you. He's going for the headbutt. He's going for the headbutt. He's going for the headbutt. He's coming at full speed. Oh, no, you don't. Jams his fist down his throat. <sighs> Right down his throat. Right, right down his throat. Just jiggle it in there. Look at him. Not recommended, by the way. The teeth would totally cut up your your hand, but makes for great action this guy's done this guy's done look at that yep he's done towards the door Yopiet Hanun I have no idea what that means but yes he is my brother one more guy to go through I guess Was my brother. And this one looks like it'll be a tough fight. <laughs> Fun fight scene. Fun fight scene. And someone asked earlier. Uh, this is the comic. Uh, Cheryl mentioned that it was uh, Saga, but well, it's not Saga. This is uh, Zero. Let me put this back where 
the marker was. So this is a comic zero that came out in 2014 uh, from Image Comics. Okay, I thought it was uh, worth checking it out. Okay, first time chat. Sam the sick, the seek. Hey brother, uh, glad glad that I can catch you over here. Glad to have you here. Fun place to stream. Fun place to stream. Okay, I just read three issues from this. And uh, I grabbed it mainly because of this mushroom cover. Uh, super cool cover. Super cool cover. Right. A trippy artwork. Like you saw the artwork in that, right? And again, different artist, different art style. Like, look at this. Different art style. And again, a different art style in this one as well. Elder God says, Torque Snap. Greetings, Cheryl. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no worries, Cheryl. <laughs> much violence, much violence. After that violence, gang, this one is a total silent issue. Okay, but let's skip that. Let's do some reading. Let's do some reading from this Go Die. It's a funny... Um, funny strip really okay uh it's like you know sunday funnies or something like this um and i didn't i don't know this guy i'd never read anything uh from this person and it's called uh this is godai number one and it was uh, just a one uh one issue uh sort of compilation of uh, bunch of comic strips that this guy had put out okay so godai number one came out in 1993 okay came out in 1983 hey where is it there it is from threshold press okay and the artist for this is mark peasley okay and i couldn't uh, try to look up who mark peasley was um i came across someone that needed to go fund me because he was having health issues i don't know if it's the same mark peasley i think it is actually so there isn't i couldn't find too much information about him okay but let's read this little intro for it okay go die number one 1993 published by threshold press 502 east john uh champagne illinois okay six one eight two zero all characters are copyright 1990 1991 1992 1983 by mark peasley so i'm assuming these are strips that came out starting from 1990 okay the the characters bob and dave copyright 1993 dave king all other characters and their uh doo -doo distinctive likeliness thereof are copyright mark peasley the threshold press name and logo as well as the comic cap cavalcade name and logo are copyright comic cavalcade no similarities of any person or enterprises it, enterprises is intentional well at least not in a mean sort of way all rights reserved go die let's read this as well let's see forward by bob bob and dave what does this say howdy ron we're here to introduce this book where should we stand where should we stand just spread out and act natural and we'll appreciate it if you hold these congratulations for buying mark Peace Lee's new book, Go Die. This book is bound in seal skin and produced by underpaid migrant workers. It's entirely politically incorrect. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like, they're, <laughs> they're, they're actually, what do you call it? Targets. Targets. And this kid the kid that you see here he appears a lot in the in the funnies damn miss most 
Damn, missed both these targets. Could we try that again, guys? <laughs> this kid's just this kid is just chaos. It's some of the it's so funny, some random stuff. And again, this is not for kids. This is for mature readers. Again, just letting you know. Okay. Uh, I highlighted. So we're gonna read these two from this page. Okay. Let me take these these guys down. Let's take these guys down. Why, gracious me, it's the devil himself. Hi, Ron. Sell me your soul, the devil says. What's it worth to you, Ron says. Ron asks. Anything, anything in the whole world, the devil says. Money, sex, fame, power, drugs, sex, anything. Your little heart desires, Ron replies. Could I get you to move out of the way of the TV? And the dog, his dog is hilarious right there. The dog says, get some smokes too, right? And the devil smacks himself. This job is nowhere near as much fun as it used to be. And then the next strip the, continues. Cheer up, Satan. It can't be that bad, Ron says. It's just no fun anymore. I don't even have to try. People will sell their souls for a dime. There's no job satisfaction. And this whole heavy metal thing, I mean, it seems like a good idea at first, but now hell is full of the full to the brim with seventh graders. There, there, Ron says. I just like that because this is 1993 and heavy metal uh, scene. Uh, there was a lot of kids doing their thing right let's read these three and this guy from this one okay let me take these guys down hey, come on. Hey. and this one as well Again, gang, this is not this is not for kids, okay? You know, on TV, so Ron and the dog they fight a lot, right? Or Ron beats on the dog a fair bit and dog does his own thing with Ron and whatnot, right? So Ron's chasing the dog, he grabs him. You know, on TV, people tune into those shows week after week to find out if characters who hate each other are really supposed to su suppressing hidden passions for one another the dog says really Ron asks sure they get it on cheers and moonlighting and who's the boss and and then a little time later I am deeply ashamed Ron says <laughs> and the dog says come to think think of it I don't recall this ever happening on the odd couple <laughs> there's a lot of relationship things going on here okay here's another one so this is a, like dead guy with a knife in his head and his wife is right there uh, her body's censored right so dead guy's thinking she's pissed turns to her and says what's the matter honey nothing she says no really something I did he asks you mean you don't know she yells oh good lord man think what could it possibly be he says hey that guy what's up ron asks i thought everybody peed in the shower he replies <laughs> right <laughs> so here's the family ron the kid and the dog ready to munch down on dinner right on your marks 
get set, ding in. Right. So they just go crazy. They're eating. They're eating like mad. Eating like mad. <laughs> the chicken is still on the table and the dog looks at him and says, You guys, you guys suck. <laughs> all you see is this skeleton on his body. <laughs> right. And he still has a smoke in his mouth. Like the dog smokes a lot. Dog smokes a lot. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna read this one too. Let's read this one as well. This one's funny. Ron says, Art, somebody broke in and stole my stereo. <laughs> that does it. I'm gonna go, <laughs> go buy a gun, he says. Comes back with a big blaster. Does this baby just scream home protection or what? Later. Arg, somebody broke in and stole my gun. <laughs> Alright. Fuddy, fuddy, fuddy. Fuddy, fuddy, fuddy. Oh yeah, let's read these two. Let's read these two. Let's read these two. Let's read these two. <laughs> Cheryl, I knew you'd love that one. <laughs> oh, I thought it was so funny. Let's take this down. We'll put it back in later. Check this out. You did what, Ron asked? I put a personal ad in the paper. Look, it's right here, the dog says. And... Answered seeks HB for IE or TW, BS more, send P, BN, and SS to PO Box 7002. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Some kind of code, Ron asks. <laughs> the dog replies, attractive single white dog seeks hot bitch for intimate evening of tall tail wagging butt sniffing more send uh send photo brief send fo send a photo brief note and stool sample to post office box 702 right so that's what that's supposed to mean a s w d right the next strip the next strip ding dong ron sitting on his chair who are you? I've come about the ad. <laughs> the guy says, the ad. Asexual station wagon driver seeks hairy biker for inept exchange of toxic waste, <laughs> bowel shoes, bowling shoes, more. Send panties, beer nuts, and some soap to PO Box 702. <laughs> Spoon, he says to Ron, and the dog's name is Spoon, right? Hilarious, hilarious. So funny, so funny. <laughs> That's great humor. That's awesome humor. Let's read these two guys from this. Okay, let's read these two guys. And... Let's check this out. Ron says, Excuse me, but are, but what are you doing? I'm making a sandwich, the cop says. I can see that. Why are you make, making it in my kitchen, Ron asks. I'm a white cop, buddy. I can do whatever I want. Do you have any Dijon mustard? No, Ron yells. I don't have any fucking Dijon mustard. Get the hell out of my kitchen, Ron says. Say, you're not on that PCP stuff, are ya? You might scare me. I'm re I really do scare quite easily, you know. <laughs> That's the cop. I sort of... This is the 90s, 1993, right? We're in 2022. Uh... 30 years later. That's still pretty relevant. <laughs> still pretty relevant. The next strip. Let's check it out. 
Good evening. Tonight's top stories. The Vatican announced today that priests found to be molesting uh, altar boys or, or, or chorus members would still not be allowed to use condoms. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was relevant. I thought that was relevant. Maybe not funny, but relevant. What relevant. Okay, let's read from here all the way here. So that's five strips. So that would be a week, week worth of, if this was being published in the paper, week worth of funnies. Let's read a week worth of funnies. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hey, the rent check balanced again, Ron says. We got to come up with some money fast or we're going to get evicted. And then the TV in the bottom right there. What's the TV saying? Does your child uh, seem different? And the dog's watching the TV with Ron as well, right? Does your child seem different? The TV says. Sullen, angry, out of control. Ron turns to the dog. Are you listening to me? The TV continues. Call, call the Happy Times Chemical Dependency Clinic now before it's too late. Uh-oh, Ron says, pink. There's a little light bulb on top of the dog's head, pink. My son refused uh, to mow the lawn. Could he be smoking crack? <laughs> the TV says commercial. <laughs> the dog says, I have, an, I have a plan. That's why Ron's going, uh-oh, right? The smile on the dog's face. What's the dog's plan? Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. A rehab center? We don't know how to deal with troubled kids, Ron says. We don't have to. We're going to convince parents to drag in perfectly normal, healthy, honors rolls types. Here, this pamphlet we've we've been mailing mailing out should explain explain just about everything. Spoon hands the pam pamphlet to Ron. Whoa, do you really think that the drug hysteria in this country is intense enough for parents to accept, quote, an organized sock drawer, end quote, as evidence of substance abuse? Oh my God, my baby's on drugs, the mother says, <laughs> checking out the drawer. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's continue. So how long have you been using drugs, Jimmy? I don't use drugs, Jimmy says. Then why are you here? <laughs> Spoon asks. I don't know. I don't use drugs, Jimmy says. You know, for someone who doesn't use drugs, you sure talk about them a lot. <laughs> but, Jimmy says, but, but you do admit to having an organized sock drawer, don't you? Spoon says. Okay, okay. I go by color, but I can quit anytime, uh, anytime I want. God, you're good spoon, the dog thinks, right? How goes parent night at the rehab center? Uh, Ron asks. It's cake. Even the vaguest threat of drug use kills off all logic in the par parental mind. They're eating out of our paws. They're in the other room right now, happily writing us $400 checks for a month of counseling their kids don't don't even need it makes them feel like uh, concerned caring parents bravely confronting the tough issues of child rearing today Ron Ron asks so you don't think there's anything fundamentally wrong with what you're doing spoon replies nah hey why why don't you come watch me explain how their kids use these for uh, for, to br free base cocaine, right. the toilet plunger. Let's check it out. Let's continue. Spoon, what do you look at 
would you look at all these checks they're paying us to make them afraid of their own furniture now uh spoon what i can't get get the kids to pee in the cups spoon replies they're kids you got to make it seem you know fun wrong goes <laughs> look at the kids eyes okay now bobby toes on the line aim for bucket number three right i thought this was again relevant to our society because this is exactly really what happens uh and what has been happening in our societies for a long time it's scary let's read this 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 and this okay <coughs> 1993 do you think these could be published now <laughs> with the council culture it's so prevalent right could these be published now could these be published now let's check this out so the teacher asks did everybody do their assignment Billy why don't you read us your essay yes ma'am Billy replies what I did on my summer vacation by Billy I spent my summer catching baby rabbits tearing their heads off and preserving them between the pages of an encyclopedia the teacher is like what the the teacher replies show and tell will be cancelled until further notice billy replies i have over a hundred right and billy's psychotic right and here's billy we'll look at this one too right there's spoon the dog billy heel right and here's another one it says here they're gonna start handing out condoms at billy's school today spoon replies really <laughs> and this is what the kids are doing <laughs> the teacher's got a banana in, his, in her hand now let's pretend this banana is you your you know what and you're ready <laughs> to make fruit salad <laughs> right ping zip snap like kids going ballistic with it right funny 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 let's read this one too we'll read this one this one and this one okay because this this again is sort of relevant right billy i don't know what you've been told at school but i think it's important that you understand the facts of life in open and honest terms now when a man and a woman really love each other they get married and then uh the man the woman they are uh, and then they are uh, and then uh and then the stork comes and brings in a baby brings a baby and then billy replies when does the fucking happen right. straight up i'm not gonna read this one uh just because it's uh, should we read it should we read it to continue let's read it to continue let's do it so spoon is giving him advice so billy's basically going around it's about sex education in schools right we're starting with the condoms and billy's getting advice from all types of people right even the dog billy i don't know what you've been hearing about sex so i want to make sure that you've got the facts right when two people fall in love the man takes the woman to the drive-in drive-in theater and hits her over the head with a loaf of french bread he then pokes her in the ribs with an overripe zucchini until she screams for help then and only then does a gentleman let the live crickets out of the glove compartment understand and then spoon the dog is thinking i just hope i live to see him date let's read this one the dead guy's advice well Billy when a man and a woman get drunk they tell each other that they are in love 
to alleviate the guilt that they feel when they rub glands together. Then the woman gets pregnant, they get married, go into debt, and settle down into a life of quiet despair and emotional deceit. That's what America is all about, Billy. Values. Now, this one, <coughs> all else fails. Get a sex advice, family advice from a priest, right? Hi, Billy. Your mother is uncomfortable with the topic, so she's asked me to talk to you about growing up. Billy, sex is a natural and beautiful part of life, but it can be confusing and scary if it is entered into without proper spiritual guidance. I'm going to speak frankly with you, Billy, but you must promise me you will listen even if you find it embarrassing. Yes, Father, Billy replies. Good. Let me start by saying that you've got quite a perky pair of butt buttocks there, young man. Right? Sex advice from a priest. Okay. Let's read this one. This one here. Okay. This is Ron trying to date. So Ron's out and about, right? Excuse me, he says to the lady holding the drink. Get lost. You're not my type. Ron's like, huh? He's like, oh my god, what's that smell? Ron's like, I said excuse me. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. So funny, so funny. So funny. We'll skip the rest of that one. We got a few to read here. <laughs> Let's read this one and this one, okay? And this one. Where are you? <laughs> For all cat lovers. For all you cat lovers, Psst. abortion should be illegal. Lesbian feminists and rock music are ruining the moral fabric of this country. <laughs> I hate cats, Ron says. Sex education is killing our children. <laughs> Funny, too funny. <laughs> too funny. So here's Spoon. Hi, Ron. <laughs> Look at Ron's face. Right. Hi. What the hell are you so happy about? Nothing. You want something? Nope. Just high on life. <laughs> Ron says. <laughs> Is life? If life was that much fun, do you really think I would still it would still be legal? Open up! This is the police. <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> Cheryl, you want a copy of this one? Hilarious! If you remind me, I'll take a picture of it and post it on our gilded uh, gilded server. Okay? If you remind me, I'm gonna yeah, I got the thing right there. Uh, if you remind me, I'll do it. I'll post it on our gilded server. Or maybe try to f find a full page. And this is the last one. Let's read this last one. Like, awesome. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I hate cats, he says. <laughs> this this is a this is a great way to end it. Okay. This is a great way to end it. Okay. Go die. Right? Pass fail. Let's see this. What is this? Oh he's 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 doing the unthinkable, right? Boing! 
1992 and hits the apple on top of Spoon's head right so Ron's out and about again all right let's check it out come on focus come come Cameras are usually pretty good focusing with black and white. Let's see, here we go. Well, here goes. Ron's walking up to a lady, holding his drink. Right? Aren't you in my calculus class? He's thinking. Aren't you in my calculus class? He's thinking. Practicing. Darn goo in my alfalfa. <laughs> Ron says that's what he was thinking to say and that's what really came out oh my god the girl says right oh my god what Ron asks you're so awkward wow thanks Ron replies don't take this don't take that the wrong way I think it's really cute she replies you do sure and your voice it's so irritating she says <laughs> what <laughs> irritating it's kind of nasal and whiny very grating i find that really attractive she says not only that but you have almost no physical presence at all wow i've got goosebumps huh Fran thinks you don't have a single muscle on your whole body do you Hey, let's not let's not get Ron says. Oh my god, I bet you're really lousy in bed too. Wait here, I'll go get my coat. Ron says, I need another beer. Right? Hilarious. I thought that was so funny. I thought that was funny. This was great this was great to pick up really this was great to pick up right. the gems you find the gems you find in 25 cent comic book bins 25 cents is the lowest I've ever found right usually they're dollar bins even a dollar like this thing's well worth it fantastic read super fun super fun super fun super fun a good laugh indeed a good laugh oh my god what time is it it's oh we only got 15 minutes left what are we gonna read oh no oh this is a whole silence this is beautiful gang quick question wow this one we won't be able to read it's too long uh we can read a short story from the back of this or Take a look at a full silent issue. Take a look at a full silent issue. Yeah, see that there were like last year, uh, one of my local comic shops had 25 cent bins. It was blowing out tens of thousands of comics. And uh, I went in there and grabbed like three large boxes for 25 cents a pop. This is what the, the, all of these are 25 cents a pop that I picked up. So it was just like nothing really, right? Should we take a look at a silent issue? Should we take a look at a silent issue game? Let's take a look at a silent issue. Let's take a look at a silent issue. Or should we like read through this? Let's see. Well, we had a funny. We just read a funny. So let's, because this one's funny, the back issue. So let's put these guys here. We'll read those on the next uh, reading. And this is Barrier. Okay. <clears throat> I picked up issue number one, three, four, and five right number two was missing so i haven't read issue number two of this but the story made sense with skipping one of the issues okay and this is brian k vaughn okay and we already looked at the uh, uh, saga with brian k vaughn brian k vaughn and marcos martin doing the artwork and it's called barrier and i picked up the first couple of issues of this uh, when it first came out um, but I didn't read it. I just love the artwork. I flipped through it. I don't like comics that are set like this. They open up like this. They're all the readings like this. I like comic books that I read like this, right? But I can see why they did it this way. Okay. So let's just look at this beautiful artwork and skip through 
uh, flip through this whole issue um, and just take a look at it right uh, so this is issue number three Bra uh, barrier Brian K Vaughn and it came out in uh, 2018 so wow it's been four years since this came out I remember picking this up Oop, where is it there it is come on focus there it is 2018 I can't believe it's been uh, four years right let's take a look and gang before we take a look at this do not forget do not forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censor two. and the backstory to this is uh, this woman here okay she owns a sort of a ranch and her husband killed herself killed himself and he's been trying to manage the ranch and there's been a close encounter of the third kind and right now she's having a dream okay so she was picked up by spaceships abducted And the story of this guy is he's uh, a migrant. Some people say illegal alien, someone crossing into the United States. Okay. Illegally. And his path is going to cross with hers as well.
come to Texas. <coughs> out of there. He's trying to figure out where he is. finds his bag. He's so happy. She's a gun. Runs to see the gun. To get it. dollars an hour. <coughs> it comes across the alien. speaks and his ear bleeds. She's inside the ship as well, trying to break out. opens above her and bloop, pops down the guy she looks at him Smiles. She speaks, but there's they can't hear the words. Yeah. Sees the bag. Poor 
doors, whatever is inside out, what do we got? We got cola, charger, phone, toothbrush, lighter, smokes, sandals, jacket. She goes for the cola. Cracks it open. Gluck, 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 gluck. Drinks away. That book, red book, has been precious uh, to the guy. Okay. Important for him. Checks the phone. No signal. Cigarettes and a lighter. Belmont. I don't know if that's a legit cigarette label or not. the lighter lights the whole place just goes crazy right mm. what they're like what's going on right. the lighter is right there beautiful panel work by the way beautiful panel work she lights it again. The spaceship, wherever they are, just goes crazy again. Right. So, fire does something. She checks it out. What can they light on fire? Checks the shoes. Can't light the shoes on fire. Too difficult. It's not gonna catch. Is that underwear? I guess it's underwear. Cloth. Looks over. He hugs the book. He doesn't want to give up the book. It's precious to him. She says, come on. Or implies it. He's like, no. Let me show you, he says. Look at that. Super Appa versus Dino Mech. And this is the first time in the story that we see this. Right? Raw. Ayudi. Super Papa. And then essay, no si preocupen amigos. So she's like, uh, what? Is that yours? And it's not. It's not. This is kids. All right, that's why it's so precious to him. His kids died. Okay. Or is no longer with him. So it's really precious to him. It shows a tattoo. Roberto. She's like, oh, I feel you. My heart goes out to you. But look, 
at where we are. Look at where we are. It's like, okay. Hands over the book. Wow. Hands over the book. Look at where they are. Alien ship. And those are the aliens, right? Beautiful colors. Light the book on fire. Aliens go crazy. What the F, right? Just lit the book on fire. Aliens are talking to each other. What the hell? What's going on? Right? She's happy. The gate opens up. The hatch. Eyes are popping. And liquid drops in. What is that liquid? Puts out the fire. submerged they reach for each other and that's the last page awesome storytelling awesome storytelling Beautiful artwork, awesome colors. The only complaint I have about this series was that the text, it, there was a reason for it. Some of it is in English, some of it is in Spanish. So the Spanish sections, this isn't from issue number one. If you don't read Spanish, you don't know what they're saying, right? But as you continue reading this story, uh, going through this, you realize what's happening, and then parts of it are in English. Okay, so I wish they had a little translation of the text for the Spanish, and I think that's one of the reasons maybe the series. I'm not sure how well it did. And uh, Zare, welcome to another live stream. This was Barrier. Okay, this was Barrier. We did some readings, uh, some other readings as well. Let me bring back. Uh, the chats, the notifications. Let me bring back my video. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Nice. So we did go over, right? What time is it? Yeah, we're over time. We're over time. I hope that was fun, gang. Um, good readings. Good readings. I even brought out another series just in case we ran, went through those. I'm reading Forgotten Realms as well. Super fun, super fun from DC Comics uh, from 1980s, 90s, from 1990s, 1991, 1990, 1990, 1991, 1992, and so forth. Uh, this, is, this has been fun reading it. Uh, I have a few issues with those. Uh, but I ended up reading uh, a few things here. Anything with a little piece of paper in it we ended up reading uh, so that was fun and what I'm gonna do is uh, put these in the piles of things that uh, we're reading and we still have some stuff 
that we didn't read these guys and I'll keep on adding to the piles as I read more comic books and um, we'll do more segment readings or at some point we'll do a full reading of another comic book um, when I delve into some series or whatnot uh, aside from that gang uh, thank you for being here uh, fun to do fun to do uh, we got to do more of these and call and math videos and whatnot and um, if you want to know what this work is about gang I am on wait on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho we do have a subscribe star page and a sub stack page and for those of you uh, Cheryl thanks chicho this was great it was it was fun uh, we need to do way more comic book readings and I think we will uh, now that we've dealt with a lot of uh, geopolitics and current events and finance and whatnot uh, for those of you just supporting this work on patreon as well as Substack on on twitch gang thank you very much for supporting this work it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and mods 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 on twitch on getter thank you very much not getter on gilded thank you very much for being here and taking care of business thank you for helping us build our community we couldn't be doing what we what it is that we're doing without your support without your help so gang thank you very much elder god cheryl uh, Zare, uh, the few other mods that are here and do pop in a lot. Uh, thank you, gang, for being here. Okay, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Getter Minds, VK Gap, Parlor, and BitCloud, and we'll see what other platforms we jump on. We do have a sound, SoundCloud page where we upload audios where we don't have any visuals. Uh, to soundcloud as podcasts and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play and others and we will be uploading the audio not the audio we will be uploading this full live stream on sensor tube on bitchute on rumble and on odyssey but if you want to follow everything that we do you want to be on bitchute rumble and odyssey gang and again we do have a gilded server you're definitely welcome to join us there and share information and talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about gang thanks again for being here i hope you enjoy the readings we'll do more and uh i'll be busy uploading uh segments and full live streams or cannabis live stream uh, uh this week on those platforms and we'll get back into doing live streams hopefully more than one preferably two three uh next weekend bye everyone